Um, I sacrificed so much of my life. Can I at least get laid? You know what I mean? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a blowjob? Hey, ho. Bad bitches, bad bitches, I be stabbing. Fly as shit, fly as shit like Aladdin. All these carrots, all these carrots, I'm a rabbit. I'm a rabbit. Bow, 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 bow. Fly as shit, fly as shit like a Jetson Space shuttle cars like a Jetson Moonwalk, moonwalk like a Jackson I be running through these hoes, Bo Jackson All my hitters in the hood with them big things All these bitches on my dick cause I bagged them Then I bombed them like Baghdad This a sad thing, fuck bitches when I'm mad Then I get glad, turn around and get the bag Turn around and get some mash, I told that bitch I'll drop that ass Yeah, 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 yeah. You're now tuned into me, 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 Gilly the Nut. No, you a nut. I'm Wallow 267. You Gilly the Nut. And right here, we have a special guest today, the one and only Danny Do Your Dirty Garcia. Because if he got you in the ring, he's going to do your dirty. Three time world champion. Listen, listen. Can't forget about Dev Nasty. We got Dev. That's that Dan and Dev. You know how to hook up. I'm the Nasty Boys. The nasty boys. We want to give a sh- and our producer over there, Dev Nasty. But who I feel some type of way because we got to get a martial artist up here because it's not right that he's here. We need a martial artist. No, no, I we got two e- boxers. No, well, I had two to even the playing field. Two fucking martial <laughs> artists, two boxers. No, you ain't no fucking boxer. You know I'm a boxer, nigga. Yo, you ain't no boxer. I'm yo. just as much as yo. a boxer. Yo, you, you ain't no boxer. Fucking martial you, ain't got, artist. you ain't got no belts. You ain't Fuckers, you talk about my hands. Hold me on. and Dev, me and Dev, feet. We, our feet is licensed. No, I got a Gucci belt. Y'all got denim belts. What's the difference? No, that don't count. He got real belts. He's a real boxer. <laughs> he the only one in here with a real fucking belt. <laughs> no, I, I ain't even got no, no belt on. No, we got real belts. We got real belts. <laughs> me and me and Dev got real belts. <laughs> right, a denim belt, no, a I'm black jean belt, belt. I'm black belt. Fuck it. I'm black belt. But before we get started, you got we a like belt to get from. Uh, no, nah, forget all that. From what's the from what's where? the store of Franklin Bills Mall? Don't disrespect my name. <laughs> disrespect my name. <laughs> You get you all your fucking belts out of Ross. <laughs> Before, yeah, whatever. Yeah, use a nut. Hilarious. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Springfield Hyundai. Listen, it's not just about a Hyundai, because I know you're saying yourself, Springfield Hyundai, they only got Hyundais. No, they got all type of cars, but if you're thinking about a Hyundai, they get you a Hyundai. But if you don't want a Hyundai, they get you other cars. But if you want a Hyundai, Springfield Hyundai, get you a Hyundai. But I want another car. So if you want an Audi, if you want a Bugatti, whatever you want, you want a Lamborghini, you want a helicopter, even if you want a blimp, they can get that for you. you made the I call? You I made, made the call. You mean they said they could get they, the blimp? They said they don't know somebody that could get the blimp, but they know somebody that could get the blimp. And I don't know how they know them, but they know them. So as long as they know them, they get you a blimp. And, and I don't know them, but they know them, so <laughs> that's all that matters. Shit, What's the number Listen, man. You might, he want to buy a blimp. The road he got, is yours. Damn, he got the money to buy a blimp. So he I'm going to call him. Does. Listen, when we done here, I'm going to call him. And, and, he, can, and he got a state to land the motherfucker listen, listen, But see, this is the thing about him. I've seen him joints fly past my crib, no lie. So so Danny. Balloon joints. Oh, so Danny, well, listen, when we done here. I'm going to call my tree and shit. So you're going to send him down to spring? No, I ain't got to send him Danny. You see the number right there, 8449 drive now. Danny could call there and just tell him, listen, excuse me, I'm Danny. I know you don't know me, but you know the guy that don't know somebody. He might know somebody. He know y'all. So this Wallow told me to call. He told me you might know somebody to know somebody that got a blimp. And if they know the person that got a blimp, I want to buy a blimp and I got money so I can buy a blimp. Springfield Hyundai. That's that's how that's how the game go. <laughs> that's just how the game go. That's how it go. Where's it located? Springfield, Pennsylvania, man. Why? Oh, okay. I told you this before. If it's Springfield Hyundai, the what's, the what's the phone Springfield? number? What's right? the phone number? Eight four four nine drive now. You see the phone number right there. Come on, Gil. All right. You goofy, man. All right. <laughs> So we got a special guest yeah. in the house. Special. Ho, ho, ho. If he's special, I'm special because I do Danny Doom Dirty Garcia. Danny Doom like, Dirty. I like that name. Yeah, see, I remix it. I gave him that. <laughs> do him dirty. Do him do dirty. Because he gets you up in there, he do you dirty. You just be bleeding and all type of stuff. You feel like somebody kicked you in the dirt. All that well, type of stuff. We got Danny in the building. We have yeah. to talk about boxing. Boxing. Boxing what? Oranges? What type of boxing? <laughs> we talk about the boxing where you throw your hands. Oh no, I you do know, that the, too. I because you know, I'm, let, let's be let's be um, honest. I am a Philadelphia boxing fan. So if you're from Philadelphia, I'm rooting for you. Are you a historian? So I'm a historian, and I've been rooting for Danny Garcia since he was. I think he turned pro at 18, 19? Yeah, 18. 18, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, 18 going on 19. Right, and he is not disappointed. Mm-hmm. He had three belts, right, at 140 pounds. Two at one. Yeah, three. Yeah, three at one. He had the. Uh, he had the uh, ring. I think I have 
four, to be honest with you. But I don't know if it count because I had the WBC. Yeah. I had the WBA Super. And I got the WBA regular title. Yeah. Damn. And, and ring. I, and the ring magazine. Yeah. Right. Then you stepped up to 147. Mm hmm. WBC. Yeah, WBC Waterway title. Right. It all happened so fast. Yeah. And let's just say this you got two losses on your resume. Yeah. I didn't think either one of them was a loss. I'm just being honest. And that's not being Philadelphia bias. That's just being honest. Right. You I landed 40 way. plus percentage of your power punches on Sean Porter. Mm -hmm. um, you broke Keith Thurman's arm. Out for two years. Damn. Out for two years. Broke somebody He home. ran from the 8th to the 12th. Right. He so turned, he in, took, he took he two turned into off. Keith Runtime Thurman. So... Then you came back and you beat Adrian Granados. Mm -hmm. You knocked him out. He's never even been on the canvas He's before. Done. He's done now. Yeah, and you uh, cooked his fucking goose. <sighs> Tore that ass up. So now it's like, who's Danny Garcia going to fight next? I don't know. I've but, been seeing in the news and saying a lot, of, a lot about Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely a fight I want. That should that, When he fought Thurman, that should have been my fight. I, that's what I thought. But he said that um, he thought Thurman was an easier fight for him than me. That's what I thought as so well. So he uh he fought Thurman. But uh I should be fighting at the end of the year and then next year, Pac-Man or whoever. Well, we know you never um turned down any challenges. This is what I don't understand. For a while, they called you a cherry picker. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, anytime you're great, they was gonna downplay it. Right. And I said to myself, a cherry picker. I said, if you put Terrence Crawford. Sean Porter, and Keith Thurman. All they resumes together. Mm -hmm. Together. All the niggas that they fought together. It don't add up to Danny Garcia. Right. And I did it at two weight classes. <laughs> because Danny Garcia fought Ashley Thelfane. Yep. Kendall Holt. Lucas Matisse. Amir Khan. Um, Lamont Peterson. Um, Eric Morales, the legend. Eric. Uh, Eric Morales twice, um, Sean Porter, Robert Guerrero, um, Zab Judah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the list goes on. It, the list just goes on and on again. Mm -hmm. It has to be somewhere like 13, 14 world fucking champions. world champions on there. Mm -hmm. And then you put all of those guys' resumes together, and it's not 13 world champions on there. Right. So... For me, it was like cherry picker. Who who the who the fuck are they talking about? Not this kid from North Philadelphia who fights any fucking. I was, man, you gotta understand. I was the underdog when I went into both, both my world title fights. But hold so up. I was supposed to lose the first my two my two world title fights first two. But hold up. So I beat the odds. You feel me? So well, I, you beat the odds every time because you was an underdog against Amir Khan. Yeah. Underdog against Lucas Matisse. Mm hmm. None of those dudes have never even tasted the canvas. Right. I mean, well, Lucas Matisse didn't. Yeah. You broke him the fuck up. Yeah. You told me you was going to break him the fuck up. Yeah. Just how you did it. You did that shit, too. Yeah. But, but this the whole thing. You don't count his two losses, but you count when when I had the little scuffle with Lou and I rolled up under the car. <laughs> how the fuck you count my losses? <laughs> and you don't, you wouldn't acknowledge you wouldn't acknowledge mine and highlight my shit to the world. Okay, because let's that, that, that shout out Dead Eye Lou. <laughs> no, how you want to highlight my shit? He sucked the shit out you and you hit the ground and rolled under a car like a mechanic. <laughs> You think you how many times he got a hard shot and he and he, and he wrestled with a motherfucker in the no, ring? He never you get a, you get a hard shot, you wrestle with somebody. You that didn't was wrestle, my, you hit the ground. No, <laughs> that was my wrestling moment where I was just recovering. <laughs> you got to recover when you get a hard so, shot. So hold on, a nigga socked you, you hit the ground, rolled up under a car like you work at AutoZone, <laughs> and you want credit for that and, shit. And did you? And did you name? A real, is this a true story? Yeah, yeah it's a true story. <laughs> listen, but no, the whole Lou, twist is listen. And did you from up there? How you end up under the car? No, it was a retreat move. My tort, uh, my, my sensei told me this. When you when danger get too <laughs> a little get heated, you got to retreat and you got to recuperate. Because he hit me and I was in the spectrum. Hold on. And what's, the, and what's the song that pop in your head when it's time you to You got retreat? to know when to fold him, know when to hold him, know when to walk away, know when to run. So <laughs> what I did was I retreated. But dig this. How do you know all the people he fought? You don't, you don't, you don't mention when I fought Big Back Black Bobby on the back block in the dark nights. All these people I fought off when I was doing vigilante work. You name all his people, but you don't name my people. 
<laughs> this is what I'm saying. You biased. You biased. There's a lot of there's a lot of battles I had. You took a lot of L's though. Uh, you had three <laughs> niggas sock you in a 90 day period. Listen, 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 what? what? You no, sound listen. like a punching I bag. Got 13, out listen, I got 13 L's out of 30 wins. That's not bad. Wait, 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 wait that's not bad. Wait, a lot so of these seventeen to thirteen. No, listen, 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 listen. At what level? A, a lot of people. A lot of people. <laughs> no, no. See, see, the difference between me and him. My weight class. I don't. I'm all class. Yeah. But what happened is a lot of these people had weapons. People have fucking weapons. Yeah. If, if somebody got you right there and they sucker punch you and this man got a gun to you, you just like. That's a rap. You can't do nothing. <laughs> So a lot of my L's really probably don't count an L, but I gotta say this is L because I lost. So so your so your record is seventeen to thirteen out here. No, seventeen two. and thirty. What? Seventeen and you 30. said you lost thirteen fights out of thirty. So that means you won seventeen. You not count a motherfucker. Yeah, so but you seventeen it don't really and thirteen. But it, but it, them, them them fights them fights are fluctuate. Yo, it depends oh, on who was there to see him. I may have forgot his record. Uh, that's how you know you've been hit. Cause I've been hit you... a couple times. I've been kicked. Ooh, look. But a lot of people I come against, they got firearms and stuff, and I'm protecting the public and shit. Right. <laughs> and let me ask Danny this question. Errol Spence, Sean Porter. Who's winning that? And why? I think I think it's gonna be I think it's a 50-50 fight. You know what I mean? Um I think they want Spence to win. I th- I think they try to make him a star, so they want him to have two belts. But uh I think it's a 50 50 fight. They both strong guys, like physically strong. I think um Porter's more battle tested. Um we we really don't know what Spence could do because we ain't really seen nobody test him yet. You know right. what I'm saying? So I mean, I think it's a 50 50 fight. Do you think, um. Who is the top welterweight other than yourself in the division? I mean, it's just too many styles, you feel me? Like, everybody match up good. Do you think Terrence Crawford is what they say he is? I mean, he got to fight somebody first. I don't know who he fights. Because feet. to me, I, I'm, and I'm not biased, I'm a fan of Terrence Crawford. But. He ain't fought no fucking body. All right. Like That's Julius and Dongo. I don't know how that dude got two belts. Um, I would have killed that dude. Um, Jeff Horn. Um, the bootleg Benavides. <laughs> you didn't fight the real Benavides. Gilly really know his shit. You fought the bootleg Benavides. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't fight the real one. You funny as I hell. mean, so for, this is what I don't understand about boxing. It's just politics, bro. There's so much politics involved. These promoters be paying too yeah. much, paying people, but paying you got, these media you got, and all that to make these people right. stars. How do, how, do, how do you put Terrence Crawford at number one and he hasn't beaten anybody that's number one? I don't know. You got to ask them writers that. I'm, I'm, that. That's what's confusing to me. It's like... Mm, who the fuck has he beaten to be? Right. I mean, that's, what's wrong. that's what's one. wrong with boxing. You feel me? It's like you can't go off the look because if you just go off the look, Javante Davis is fucking Mike Tyson for sure. But we know he's fighting Uber drivers. I can I can go more fucking rounds than these niggas. <laughs> Real shit. Like I can get in there and run from Javante <laughs> for three rounds. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Make a quick five hundred k. What the fuck is going on? Like. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? But that's how the game is set up now. Right. But And, and I'm not taking nothing away from Javante Davis. Yeah, he's a gun. He's a talent because he's a gun. But the reality of this shit is you fought one good person since you've been a professional boxer. That's Jose Pedraza. You ain't fought nobody. I want to say this. I want to ask both of y'all questions. It seems like Philadelphia is a city of belts. There's a bunch of belts floating around in Philly. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's a bunch of belts. Like, how do you feel about that? Has it ever been a time in the, in the history of Philadelphia been so many belts, so many champions at once? I mean, when Bernard had the belt, he was like the only champion in like 10. Oh, no, uh, Steve Cunningham had a belt, too. He had two belts. So Bernard, when, when Bernard had his reign, it wasn't really no champions. Then, right. I, then I came around mm-hmm. and I became world champion. Then I was, I was holding Philly down for like six years. Mm-hmm. So I was a world champion for six years. And then um, Tevin Farm became world champion. And then Julian Williams became world champion. Mm-hmm. Um, cool boy, cool stuff. boy, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him we too. got you got a bunch of you know what I mean, and it's like it's just like it's just heating up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's all. I mean, we always been we always been like a, the Boxing. best fighting city. You feel mm-hmm. me? But it's, I just feel like some tainted our city where it's like we the underdogs and we really not. 
Do you I think feel the, like Rocky, you get your I think the Rocky movie did that to us, man. Yeah, it do. It's like why everybody from Philly are underdog. Right. We're not underdogs, bro. No. We like superstars. Do you but feel like you get your just where do? Everybody from Philly, I'm a underdog in the boxing game. I feel like if you know about boxing, yeah. I mean, because I think so. I feel like in Philadelphia, you might be the upper echelon of the boxers. Oh yeah, like, for sure. Because Bernard had a belt. He definitely did, and, he, and Bernard had, I think. The most title defenses. 20. Right. Middleweight. But you had three belts in one division. And I don't think anybody has done that up until this point other than J-Rock. Yeah. J-Rock just won three belts in. That's the good thing about a unification fight. Right. Mm -hmm. You could go in there and win all the belts in oh, one all night. All the fucking belts in one <laughs> yeah. night. You feel what I'm saying? Even though yours came a little bit different, right? I had to fight each yeah, person. Yeah, to get a yeah, yeah absolutely. But. So I would definitely say in Philadelphia history, not boxing history as well, but in Philadelphia history, that probably would have to put you at the top. Yeah, I'm up there, bro. You know what I mean? I mean you can understand. If not, the, comes, if not the top fighter <clears throat> from Philadelphia when, of all time. When you, when you talk, we talk in Philadelphia boxing, you feel me? You, you got, you know, Joe Frazier. He the that's, first person to absolutely. be a Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. Absolutely. So you got to understand, that's like one of the <coughs> biggest wins you could get in boxing. Yes. That is the so biggest. So he the first person to be Ali. And then you got um, Bernard Hopkins, twenty defenses, the oldest, Beat oldest Trinidad. the oldest fighter to win a world title, and right. the oldest fighter to defend the world title. So legend. it's like that's legendary. That's legendary work. That's legend. That's legendary. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking legend. Yeah, and and he, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. Bernard fought maybe one year too long. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. nigga punched Bernard out the ring. Yeah, you gotta understand, crazy. Bernard been counting. <laughs> He's out. a legend. Bernard, he is a legend, but his, he got punched out. You gotta understand his mindset. I've been punched out before. You gotta point. understand his mindset is this though. This is someone who's been counted out his whole life. Right. Yep. So when you tell Bernard he can't do something, he can be like, "Oh, right, I'm gonna show you I can't do yeah, this. Oh, I can't, fight, I can't fight at 50. Right. I'm gonna show you I can't. I can fight at 50. You feel me? That's his Came mindset. Came out the penitentiary. But, yeah. but one thing about Bernard, he can fight at 50. He just shouldn't afford that 51. <laughs> Yo, <you're> too stupid. <laughs> He's a legend. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to agree with that. He should have stopped at 50. Oh. 51, I'm he fight. got punched out of the ring. Listen. <laughs> Fell all out the ring. Hey, he looked like an old head <laughs> falling out the ring. Well, listen. There's a difference. You, you go out the ring on some nut shit. The ropes was too wide open. He went out like an old head. Like he, like he I'm not really going, couldn't yo, get yo, I'm not going to agree with that. I want you to notice that Danny's trying not to laugh as hard as he possibly can. The no, same way Danny wasn't allowed to dance the back to back when Meek Mill, when Meek Mill was getting this. Danny was just standing still, just stone cold. Like, I don't know what's on. It's really not good. a one. Listen. There's no back to back. But one. I will say this. <laughs> I'm not going to say he shouldn't, because at 51, I'm still going to be out here doing my thing. You got to understand, somebody asked you to fight at 51 for like $3 million. You man. fight? Yeah. Knock me the fuck out. <laughs> <No>. Please. <laughs> knock me whatever you want it's to. Like, no, right. because at the end of the day. <laughs> it don't even matter at this point. His legacy is already. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. We, we, we ain't taking that. Yeah. The fact that he fell out the ring from a nigga that was Joe's fucking schmo. That's, that's just. That's where his name, though, Joe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on. <man. laughs> I know. A nigga that I think his name was Joe Smith or some shit. Some regular ass <laughs> He got to change. His middle like, join the like, court join the like, show now. Like Joe Schmo Smith. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, and we all know if Bernard was anything of what he used to be, he would have never lost to Joe Schmo Smith. No way. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but that one paper. one motherfucker that's undefeated is Father Tom. Yeah, yeah. yeah me. That undefeated. nigga's undefeated. <laughs> that's Kobe. You know who told me that, right? Kobe ankles, told me that. Yeah, Kobe ankles was good as shit up to his 19th year. Then he tore the shit out of his ACL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wear and tear ain't no joke. Absolutely. So, how's your body doing on the wear and tear? Oh, I'm good, man. You good? Oh. Yeah. So, you're 32 now? I'm 31. 31. Yeah. So, you got another 19 years in you like Bernard? Sheesh. <laughs> Ooh, you can do it, Danny. <laughs> Danny, Danny, do it. What, what's his name? Danny, <laughs> doing dirty. Danny, doing Danny, dirty. Doing dirty. Be, Garcia. Be, at fifty one, he be Danny. Listen, he's gonna dirty. be alright because I'm. Listen, I'm forty. I'm still out here doing my thing. No, I'm still out here. but we don't ever want Danny doing dirty to get to turn into Danny Dun Dirty. <laughs> Dun Danny, no, Dun Danny Dirty Garcia. Yeah, That's gonna boy. be that. You know, young boy will be up there. Because the young boys, I done dirty. They, hey. Yeah, they know what he is. They, I done hey, he dirty. Hey, the young boys don't give a fuck. They, they like talk Joe Schmo Smith didn't give a fuck that he knocked a. 60-year-old Bernard out. No, he I, was in a ring. Yeah. Hell yeah. I still yeah, knocked yeah. out Bernard. I'm telling the grandkids, yeah, okay. nigga. I'm a legend. You know I mean? <laughs> like, like, you think them young niggas when he I'm 21 and Danny 53 gonna get fucked? He, he just won Danny yeah. on his resume. That's what that's what Danny did to Eric Morales. Yeah. 
Then he was young as shit, stronger than a motherfucker. <laughs> Eric Morales in there trying to get that last check. <laughs> <laughs> he worked him out. <laughs> worked that, him right out. That was his last fucking joint, too. <laughs> 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 that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga got stiff. Worked him right out. <laughs> Did he get a rematch? He got a rematch, right? Yeah. No, that last rematch was oh, his yeah, last. That was it. That was it, yeah. yeah then he the returned rematch. the shit out of him with that left hand. Bop, the nigga. Yeah, and he, you know, he tested, the funny positive, he tested positive for steroids. I know, day. and you still fought him. Yeah. That was legendary. <laughs> yeah, I seen yeah, the interview. He better take steroids. Steven Espinosa. <laughs> yeah. He said, he said, uh, and that, that's some real uh, Puerto Rican from the Badlands I'm shit. Like, shit I they come in there like that. that. Yo, he he he. So he, what? He on the roids, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Like, oh, nigga, like Danny too strong. Nigga, like so. Uh, Danny Pop was in there like this. Crazy <laughs> Ainge was in there like this. So I if broke y'all shit. If we don't fight, if 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 he don't fight, we don't get paid. They said a million dollars. That nigga said. This right that nigga yeah, said. Uh, before I break uh, No, crazy. he on roids. If if y'all if they don't fight, they don't get paid. He looked at him. I don't get. Oh, he said, sure Danny, wanna... I don't give a fuck what he no. on. They ain't care. Oh, he said, you sure you want to turn out a million bucks? I said, no. nope. Nope. At Put the end of the day, there. at the end of the day, down Badlands, down Badlands, they fight people on PCP. I know far street fights for For PCP. Right. Oh, you, you got wet up in? Yeah. I'm going to rip it. Hey, and they he, just start rumbling. Hey, he didn't give I'm a fuck. Don't worry about the table. Don't worry about it. Hey, he didn't give oh, a fuck. Oh, I got it. I got it. You oh, feel okay, me? I'm yeah, broke. Yeah. broke he, hey, he didn't give a fuck. He was on steroids enough. He said, million. That's that North Philly a million. <laughs> so you mean tell me if I don't fight, he ain't, I ain't getting paid? Oh, we rumbling. I don't get fuck what he on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting shit. this paper. I was like, oh, <laughs> nigga, shit. like, wait. Imagine you go to the arena, you think you getting a million my, dollars tonight. Then a motherfucker tell there. you a nigga on steroids, you ain't getting paid. I don't get fuck what he on. I'm getting that. I'm getting fuck this. Fuck you talking I'm getting this paper. <laughs> Danny no, don't need no Spanish. He went in the room with that nigga. Macalos, Danos, 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 yeah. Nigga, we fight tonight. No, a lot of people don't know. Like my pops was like, "You ain't fighting them and shit." And then Morales was like, "Yo, I will give you three hundred k, like behind the door and shit." Like you know some <laughs> negotiate some back end, door shit. Crazy going. age was like, I, "Oh, he kept two hundred k. Give me hundred k." He said, "You ain't fighting tonight." Morales said, three hundred thousand. Oh, he came back <laughs> to the room. Oh, you fighting oh, yeah. tonight? Long oh, yeah. story straight, made two hundred k. But listen, he act like he looked out for you. I got an extra hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you fighting tonight? Oh, yeah, straight North Philly, me and shit. Yeah. Hey, hustle hey. with me. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, because I'm I'm really close with Danny and his family, and it's a story that I need Danny to tell. Oh man, he was I think he was 12 years old. Oh shit, he went out to fight in the tournament, <laughs> and for some reason, he lost on the first day. Silver gloves. Silver gloves and Danny thought this shit was a joke when he lost. <laughs> he wanted to go swimming. <laughs> and his dad was about to throw him in the fucking ocean. <laughs> no, shit. Enlighten us on this story of what Crazy Ainge did. Yeah, so all right. So I I went to this tournament called the Silver Gloves, right? Mm -hmm. It's a you know, it's a big tournament for like young kids under fifteen. And um, you know, Pops working hard. You know, Pops is a detailer, washing cars, working hard. You feel me? But in my mind, I'm a young kid. I'm traveling. This is a dream to me. Like yeah. I never got on the airplane before this. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm going. I'm going to Kansas City. You know what I'm saying I'm staying in a hotel. There right. was a heated pool. I see the other, other, I see all the losers swimming and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they get their ass whooped jumping the pool. <laughs> yeah, bro, shit, eating hot dogs, having fun and shit. So I lose first night. I lose first night. See, I'm. I'm like, damn, dog. I mean, I really tried the win, though, but I lost. You know what I'm saying? So um, I go upstairs to get changed. I'm like, I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go swimming. You shit. about to go do what the losers <laughs> do. Hot dogs in the pool, yeah. baby. They got plenty of time. <laughs> so Pops fucking threw me against the wall. <clears throat> and he was like, you think this is a fucking game? Like, I work hard to bring you out here. Like, this is my hard work. Earn, earn money to, like, fly you out here so you can fight and win and shit. So he pinned me against the wall. And he turned the iron on. He put the iron in my face and shit. And he <laughs> said, I'll kill against, you, nigga. He said, oh, fuck. If you ever lose again, I'll fucking kill you. And that was old. It was, it was, he was like, I'm it, fucking. Hey, I, I'm not losing anymore. He had that Michael Jackson. Uh, I was yeah. Earl would have did that shit he was like, me. He was like, yeah, I work hard to get you out this motherfucker. You think you're going to go swimming? You ain't going nowhere. Put me against the wall. Put the iron in my face. He said, I swear to God, if you ever lose again, I'll fucking kill you. Like, this ain't a game. Like, <laughs> oh, I shit. For shit. Why Earl ain't do like, that to me? I would have went to the Olympics for martial arts. He ain't your dad, nigga. No, but he's my, he's like my sensei. 
Nothing. It's like he to, can't do that to you. I swear <laughs> to God, I never lost after that. <laughs> I would have lost him. <laughs> the fuck? Hey, hey, Man, hey Danny would be in the like ring. Four national titles up there, shit. Like. Damn. Cause Cause Danny, hey, because Danny think about be, the eye. He feel Danny, like he Danny would be in the ring. He'll lose the first round. Next thing you know, the iron come out. Girl, yeah, shit. Yeah, he got the iron. But I burn, was like, damn, that shit changed my life. Burn your fucking face. <laughs> yeah, his, said, dad, his dad smacked the shit out of him in the corner <laughs> before. You know what I'm saying? Wake up. That's why them old school dads, they was the best, you know why? Because they... They threat game was legendary. Hey, they threat yeah, game man. was legendary. It's like when your pop said something back then, I was like, you had to it was listen. Different. Right now, they be, shut the fuck up, dad. <laughs> you fucking nut. I got the biggest dick in the house. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like Cosmic Kev came in. I don't know if you've seen a couple weeks ago, but on me and I was with a game, but I was talking about Cosmic Kev. Cosmic Kev came in, told his son, didn't I tell you why some dishes? His son said, dad, my dick bigger than yours. yours. You oh, wash the dishes. You, I got the biggest dick in the house. house. You wash the dishes. So it's a different time. So it's a, it's a different time. Like, <laughs> Danny Pop told him, you lose again, I'll kill you. <laughs> nigga never lost again. Bro, my Pop, all he cared about was boxing. <laughs> like, one day and shit, uh, I was coming to school with my friends and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, never I'm, done I'm that. upstairs playing P, uh, what Dreamcast and shit. Yeah, look, 2K, look. Ooh, look. <laughs> Pops walking in the door. Look, what the fuck you doing, Danny? Look. <laughs> I said, ah, shit. He was like, you ran the treadmill? I was like, no, nah, I'm supposed to be in school and shit. Like, fuck you talking about a treadmill? He was like, all right, get on the treadmill. We'll call it the day. Look, I ran <laughs> on the treadmill shit. Hold on, hold on. I started running the treadmill. I was cool and shit. His fucking Pops a legend, yeah. right? He don't give his a shit pop, about school, his nothing. His Pop, he, Boxing, he did Danny? something in school one time. His Pop had to go up to the school and talk for him. His Pop said. Man, just get a fucking kid a B, man. Ain't nobody watching. Nah, real shit. They were trying to take my credits away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this couple dollars. Sure. Yeah, they was taking my credits away. So we had a fucking joint. He was like, give him the fucking credits. Sweep it on the table. Look. <laughs> Pops was like, I teach him how to survive in these streets. He was like, y'all ain't teaching my kids shit. I teach him how to bob and weave in the streets. He was pissed Damn. off in that joint. <laughs> Fuck! Give him the use credit. Use another for that. Give him the credit. Sweep it under the table. <laughs> Don't use him as a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's not a guinea pig. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> crazy Ainge is a fucking legend out here. Legend. <laughs> so, Danny. Danny has six toes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, you do got six toes. Yeah, I just want to know. Like, when you hit in front of the back door, it gives you better grip. Like, yeah, you got six you, toes on one foot. Like, do you, like, do you get a like better this. grip? You holding the jaw, your jaw's like. I ain't never think about that, but probably you got a better, you got a better jaw. Cause I'm saying five toes is a good grip, but an extra pop, you definitely could. I don't know how that shit happened to me. Fuck he got incest, six toes. Or some shit. But that's probably putting Somebody that more. They just tore some shit up. <laughs> that's probably putting a little bit more pop. Mm, you you might be that might fucking be, left hand. That might be a advantage. Shit, I swim when I swim. Like I keep going to my left and shit. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I swim like this and shit. <laughs> My right foot so strong. <laughs> that shit just be going. No, so how do you get your sneakers? Do one sneaker got to be bigger than the other one? Can't swim straight and shit. <laughs> the sneaker, the one size, one sneaker got to be bigger than the other one. No, I just keep one a little loose. You feel me? Damn. But yeah, that's, when I was a crazy. kid, like my sneakers used to be super tight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like them joints used to hurt. But after the that's years, <laughs> after the years, like it just got, it started. Oh you know, shit! Like, after the years, he done smashed his fucking toe. exactly. Yeah. The joints, is, they just together now, like this. Yeah, they just exactly. That's he how walk they like look. this claw. They call him the claw. <laughs> you want to see my strong hand? He got the claw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how got the claw. Hey. I was praying my daughter didn't get six toes, bro. Oh man, you'd have been sick. They would have had to chop that joint off right <laughs> from the rip nose. Cut it off, don't. Because you know the 50 yeah. percent chance, because, whatever you have, you know your kids what? having shit. You know we could get away with the six toes, but six kid? toes and some some red bottoms, oh some sandals. God. That ain't working, and some bro. sandals as in, this, in school. <laughs> and you know little, shit, and you know little kids, Philly, vicious, bro. little Philly Garcia gonna have all the designer shit. Bro, I used to be scared to go to the pool when I was a kid. Damn, bro. you had them six. You had six. <laughs> when, okay, when did you get over the the? Uh, Insecurity of it. Start getting money. Look. <laughs> you fuck with nobody. Say that. Yeah, get that I'm paper. Like, bitch. Hey, I'm a millionaire. Hey, motherfucker got his first million to see. <laughs> Put that shit right on TMZ. Put his dogs out. <laughs> six zero oh, really? six toes. <laughs> I'm rich, bitch. Them joints smell like corn chips, though. Put them joints away. Money and shit. Look, Put them pieces oh, away. It. it don't even matter no more. And shit. Yeah, you don't right. care. They put me right. on Team Z and all. Right. Like, Absolutely. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, let me yeah. ask you this question. <laughs> if you and Terrence Crawford fight, how does it end? I'm gonna put him out. Oh, uh, he, he's going to sleep. Put, 
Listen, man, anybody I go out there, I'm putting them to sleep. Say no more. I, and I really think you on his mission, too, because we, me, to me and Danny talk on the phone before every fight, and he told me, like, I'm, I'm knocking Adrian Granados out. I'm like, mm, he's never even been down on the canvas, though, Danny. I'm knocking. I'm like, that's my mindset going into every fight. Right. I he's like, I'm turning his electricity off. I'm not trying to do 12 Damn. rounds. I'm and he turns his the, electricity off. I'm he trying to get the, the fastest company. check possible. Shit. You and Errol Spence, how does that turn out? Listen, man, he ain't never been hit. By like somebody like me. Honestly, I can honestly say that me personally, I believe you're the hardest puncher in the welterweight division. For sure. And I, because, and I came off on 140. You got to understand. Now, yeah. all them other guys been there, except right. for Crawford. Right. He, he, he started at 135. Right. But mostly all the guys I fought, they've been at 147 their whole career. And, and, and they run for me when I fight. I'm chasing them down. You definitely chased, Damn. You definitely chased Keith Runtime Thurman yeah, down. Yeah, I chased him down. You Runtime. Know? Ooh. And he got exposed. I don't think Manny Pacquiao could ever do that to you. First of yeah. all, I don't think no welterweight out could ever put you on a canvas. No, I don't know. Because you I gotta shoot me. You gotta snipe me from the top row. I've never even seen you dazed. Have you ever been dazed in a fight? I've been dazed a few times, but I he ain't never fight a martial artist in the back go. alley. That's why. <laughs> Let him run up against some martial artists in the it back be, alley. It be the punches that people don't see. Yeah. That. Stun you a little bit. Yeah. Like, you know how fighters get hit, boom, oh, like a hard shot. You be like, oh, he might. Sometimes it might be like a little boop. Yeah. You're like, ooh, okay, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you take a step over here, your body over there. You're like, oh, shit, you just got to. Nobody see it. Nobody <laughs> see that. But, yeah, I mean, it's boxing, bro. So, But I've never been, like. If you and Manny Pacquiao fight, how does it end? I think it ends in a knockout. Danny Garcia. That's I mean, just I me. Feel, I feel like, to be honest with you, I feel like Manny Pacquiao. Has like a perfect style to beat most of all the guys that was t now at welterweight, but I think I'm the the only style he should stay away from. Because you punch while while the other people are. And punching. I'm a good counter puncher. That's oh, like his. That's like his. His weakness. Yeah, his weakness is Absolutely. timing and counter punching. Absolutely. So I got power in both hands and I could time you well. Right. So I think that's like it's not a good matchup. The reason why I say you the hardest. Well, let puncher. me not say that. I'm, I, I'm easy. Fight me. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, my style yeah. is whack to his look. <laughs> I was just playing. <laughs> he gonna watch this drawing out, try to fight me no more. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason why I think you are the hardest puncher at welterweight is because out of all the welterweights, you're the only person that I see that hits somebody with one punch and actually take the soul out of them. If, and another thing, too, like mentally, it's hard to fight me. I'm just a hard guy to fight, you feel me? So, like, Mentally, it's, it's hard getting ready to fight somebody like me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Somebody who just never gives in, who got power, who got right. a lot of grit. Right. So, like, immensely training for eight weeks right. <clears throat> against me, like, it could break you. Right. And even... even <clears throat> That's I, I why a lot of fighters don't look the same after they fight me. Nobody looks the same. Because, like, you got to mentally get ready to, like, fight me, like, mm. physically and mentally. And Robert Garcia just said something that was... Extremely interesting It's pretty much the same thing I said He said If Danny Garcia And Mikey Garcia fight Gets me Without a doubt Danny Garcia Will be the hardest puncher That Mikey Garcia Has ever faced You see, you see what happened right It didn't get made <laughs> <laughs> Alright let's get into this Million dollars worth of game segment let me ask y'all a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Million dollars worth of game segment is sponsored by, have you had any good hair lately? I feel a little jealous because you got good hair. He's the <laughs> first hairline <laughs> on the show. He, he is. Got a hairline. Ever. <laughs> he got a hairline. Uh, like, wow. he just, he's disrespecting this environment right now. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. If you lost your shit and had to go bald, that'd be the worst day of your life, wouldn't it? I had a ball spot before. You did? Oh, you patched it up, huh? <laughs> no, I, had, I got injections. Oh, my God. He got the, he got the hookups. I had alopecia. Like, I had a... Like stress. Kind of injections you, you need so to put I, niggas I like, on. I had like a big boss. How much was they? <laughs> and you got My injections. My covered that, John. How much did it cost? You serious? Because yeah. Gil's going to get It's Gil. called Kenalog. I shot a Kenalog. Because he got a whole boss spot. Listen, no, no, take no, his no. shit off. Watch. No, I don't. No, look, but. Look, the whole top, miss. You see no, that? This listen, one big boss Listen. Spot. Show so yours. I, I'm already prepared with it. <laughs> Oh, you got, you got no, it. It's nasty up there. No, listen. It's nasty. No, real shit. I did my research on this. Like, yeah. I got, I'm saying this is like, it was like immune. Like my body got confused and attacked my scalp. And um, that's how I got the boss mine. Then I had got another one right here, like on my chin. And you can see like a little, it's like a ring around it. On one of these he joints. got it hooked up. So I got shots again, boom. But um, they saying that, um, well, that's the first cause. Like when you get a boss spot, then it start, 
if you don't take care of it, that it, sh- it takes your whole head off and shit. But, um, <laughs> damn, <laughs> that's what happened to both of us. Damn, all of us. Yeah. But they got some new. Th- they got a new thing where you could take blood out your arm and inject it in your head and create new blood flow and your hair grow back. <laughs> what? This is about to have mad needles oh, in their fucking listen, head. Oh, oh! Before we get to there, this this million dollar perfect game is sponsored by EverythingDivaGlam.com. Have you had any good hair lately? I'm ready to get some. You ready to get some? You ready to draw your blood? <laughs> Let's go do this. Hell yeah, niggas is ready. I, I don't know if I'm ready to take the blood out my arm and put it in my biscuit. I didn't, I didn't have that. See, I, my Not shit is from shit. Africa. Murafuka. Listen, I had that good goddamn Murafuka. That's major. <laughs> he Not got that silky shit. shit. See, when you got that silky shit, you don't want That's that shit to go. That's how mine was. I had the That's curly. like his strength. Like, I had like the My Albie shit short. wasn't my strength. He <laughs> said he had the curly top. I had Albie and Shorts. He's lying. I hope you sure. Weed. That the nigga be, I'll be funny. sure to brush that motherfucker. You better be. <laughs> yeah, that peasy shit. Let's get into this million dollars worth of game. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. If someone likes you and she's in your DM constantly, she's shooting her shot. She wants to suck the balls out of your dick without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you respond to her in any manner, is that cheating? What you mean, any manner? Could you say if you anything? respond to her in the DM? But what's she saying though? She. She's, she's saying like, all she's like Danny. Like, I'm chanting like I'm, she's like I'm Danny. Young. I want you to come knock me out with your dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <She, laughs> ask the girl that. What you think she gonna say? <laughs> I mean, if she's in, she's like Walla. I know you mess with April, but I want you to come fuck me all May, all May, June, and July. <laughs> Like if you respond to I'm not it. responding, I'm not even <laughs> But I'm saying if if you do respond, is the cheating even if you like, uh, you funny? <laughs> is that cheating? Why are you entertaining it? But not nah, ain't cheating. Fuck it ain't cheating, but it's cheating a gateway. Cheating is having sex with another girl. Cheating is cheating. Wait, is having sex. So, so hold on. Cheating it's is a gateway. Sex with this is a gateway. It's a gateway. It's a gateway drug. Hold on. So hold on. If you so see, cheating you is only fucking. Only if yeah. you put your dick in a bitch. Yeah. That's cheating. Communicate yeah. with a woman ain't cheating. Nah, nah, nah. So if you communicate with bitches, it ain't cheating. That the women going. That's cheating. Like on. Let me remind you. Like Instagram. Eric is watching. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you talk to a girl, I mean, you can have friends, bro. Nigga, yo, oh, don't, nigga, don't, don't say nothing else. Yo, don't say nothing else, Danny. Because Gil is good for this shit. This don't say nothing else. Yo. <laughs> he said, you can have friends. <laughs> he said that he confused like a motherfucker. Oh, you can I have mean, friends that beg you to suck your dick. cousins that I call. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... I mean, Instagram is a whole nother world. You feel me? If you go off that, then if you think it's real, I like how his wait, remix wait, game hold is on, wait. You know how many niggas Instagram is, get, is not real to me. Wait, you know how many niggas is get real dick sucks off of Instagram? <laughs> I mean, if you take it to the next level, yeah, you feel me? He said, okay. I like how you remixed but, it. But Instagram is never what it seems. You feel me? Just because you a, D, a girl DM you say she want fuck, don't mean it's gonna happen. <laughs> yes, it do. It's gonna happen. It might not ever happen. Nigga, it absolutely <laughs> means she's trying to fuck. Yo, yo, daddy, like, just because bitches be in your DM saying they want to wrestle with your dick, that don't mean she really want to wrestle with it. You ain't trying to set your ass up. Yeah. Get some buzz off you. Mm, she could yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's too. Try yeah. screenshot. They just screenshot legends. If a girl if a girl DM me that, I'm not I'm not entertaining it. It's too. It's something wrong with it. Right. Anything that's too good or too easy is never <laughs> right. You feel me? So you're not entertaining it. But no. So if you do entertain it, would that be considered cheating? No. No. <laughs> It's nah. the gateway. It's the it's the step. You done stepped your foot in the water. Well, we already knew. We ain't got to ask you. This nigga, this nigga walked. Cheating is having sex This nigga got his girl. woman face on, on his her, drawers. On his drawers. Danny looked at him like, what? Damn, I'm going in love. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, you just absolutely wouldn't do it. You wouldn't put Eric on your drawers. Never. You're taking too long, Danny. No. <laughs> yeah, so you would never do it. <laughs> That's weird. Damn. <laughs> I love her, but damn. Like, damn. Shit. <laughs> Yo, his woman bought him a pair of drawers for eight day of the week. You got them on right now. Wait, she no, got pic- you got her picture, her pictures. On yeah, there? best Yo. best girlfriend. How you even get and that done? And it's a best girlfriend on the draw, but her Shit. face all over the drawers. Yep. Wait, she has Puerto Rican? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh he know. Crazy. He know. Oh, shit. He know. Yeah, she's Puerto Rican. That's how they Look, Where these motherfucker? Are you kidding? They'll fuck you up. Look, yep. I want to make sure no bitch you see this before you fuck him. Look. That's, 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 <laughs> exact, that's the exact mindset. Uh, come home okay, so let me ask you a question. Because both of y'all mess with Spanish women. Are they without doubt the craziest women on planet Earth? 
I think chicks is crazy in general. No, but I heard some stories right. about some, and I heard Spanish men too. I heard no, them niggas is I mean, crazy. That don't go for me. White, jo- no, 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 no. White, white Jones. And then I, and, and, and then I, then I might believe it because that nigga's dad is crazy. White Jones is different. <laughs> give her thirty thousand. Get the fuck out my life. <laughs> he told my mom one day, "I give you thirty thousand. Get the fuck out my life." <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Go back to the hood. Look. <laughs> hey, hold on, wait. Who Yo, say that? Wait, Yo. wait, wait, wait. Tired that's how you know. Headache. That's Look. how you know age crazy. Yeah. Angel is Listen, crazy. They making millions of dollars. He's like, give me thirty thousand. Go back to the fucking hood. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> nigga just made it. nigga just made four point five million this last fight. Leave he offered the man's mama thirty thousand. I give you thirty thousand. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Damn. Pop's crazy. Yeah. He's one of a cup. Yo, that's crazy, man. <laughs> he one of a cup, man. That's crazy. Thirty thousand. Get the fuck out of my life. Man. <laughs> that's crazy. Man. This bitch. Yo, but he has white. But it's white girls. White yo. girls are the craziest. <laughs> We was at the studio Mike one time. Girl, sue right? you and shit. Right. He was at the studio one time, right? Well, His pop called him, right? He said, Where you at? He said, I'm down, I'm at the studio. He said, uh, what, what studio? I just walked in your studio. Ain't nobody in there. He said, No, I'm at the studio downtown. He said, Well, what time you gonna get here? His dad say, I mean, he say, I was thinking about taking the day off. His dad said, What? When you're laying on the fucking ground looking up at the lights, don't fucking blame me. Damn, that's real shit. I remember that. Day. He hung up top of. I gotta he go. Is right, Dwayne. I gotta go. <laughs> so I'm taking a day off. He like he pops his right, Dwayne. I said, yeah, he. <laughs> hey, yo, I'll be right back. I'm about- <laughs> taking a day off. <laughs> I said, boy, that nigga pop is fucking legendary. So you're not responding, but it's not cheating. Is it cheating? No, it's just a gateway. What the fuck is a gateway? Mean it, mean it, mean, mean, like, mean it, mean it. Marijuana is a gateway no, drug to no, no, like, It's a gateway <laughs> because you're not going to just end up at a bitch house. You got to have a conversation first. You feel what I'm saying? The conversation's okay, not cheating. Okay, so are you, are, you, are you responding and is it cheating? It's sort of cheating. Uh, he look know. under pressure. I'm not under pressure. I really don't care. It's like, it could be cheating because if they say they want to, you know, give you a BJ... <laughs> <laughs> and you laugh back like ha ha no, like, you, you smile like oh, you throw the heart or something and it's like yeah. it can get crazy nah throwing the heart is crazy yeah, you <laughs> if you smile you throw this smiley face like this <laughs> see me, me me and Toot got the me watery, and Toot know the watery, that the watery that, Bob John shit yeah the water oh wow a motherfucker can say whatever you want you can't respond yeah you and can't if, respond and, and hard eyes that's Turn into sin. motherfucking black eyes yep. in my fucking household. <laughs> no, definitely. If somebody say that, I mean, it's 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 too good to be true. Okay, so what I if believe I, in so, that. so so let's put the shoe on the other foot. A r- rapper, basketball player, entertainers all in your woman's DM. Hey, sexy. <laughs> How are you? I would love to take you to dinner. She better not respond, nigga. It's over. If she responds, what if she just give the. Anything, smiling, fake, cracking up. She out of here. It's over. See, niggas is different. Look at us. We over. Even, look, it ain't cheating when we do. No, it ain't cheating, but it ain't cool <laughs> either. If she do it, I kill a bitch. It's over. <laughs> she got to die. It's double standard, bro. It's going to be a last It is breath. double standards. Yeah. And it's that's what women don't understand. Earth. In life, it's double standards. Just what it is. If we fuck a lot of women, we players. And the reality of is more women is attracted to us because of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he get all the bitches on. We gotta understand all the how hard it is to get a girl in the first place. So right. if you get a lot of them, is like right. So if if you a woman and you fuck a bunch of niggas, you ain't considered a player. You're considered a whore, even by your peers. That bitch is nasty. Anybody fuck her? She she give it up to everybody. She's an so it don't act like if you a woman. Why I gotta be a double standard? Why women can't do what men do? Because we're considered the players and y'all considered whores. <laughs> it's a difference. Right. But I mean, you 50 50 is in though, the work field. You gotta understand. A girl started having sex at 18, right? And she's 35 now. Mm-hmm. She'd be having sex. Just one partner a year. That's a lot, right? Yo, you, yo, yo. He, <laughs> seems, I, I have, so, he has the same theory as well. Theory. But I think s- it's more than one partner. Yeah, I'm just saying at a minimum one. No, but 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 eighteen. So she started fucking at fifteen, and she had one partner a year till she was thirty. That's, that's 15. fifteen. That's fifteen. At one bodies. a year. I mean, that's okay. Not what a, if she that's had two? 
See, see, Danny is okay. more on on point with, okay. with yeah. But we said 30 dicks. If she was 15 and she took two dicks a year, she had 30 dicks by the time she was 30. <laughs> that's a dick a year since she was born. <laughs> but that's only two a year, though. That's, that's a, a lot bit. of dicks. But you got to understand, though, that's Wait, only two a year. It is. That's but nothing. Listen, but listen. See, he but listen, he, yeah. but listen. He understand. If we get a 30-year-old woman. And we sit her in here. But if you got a 30-year-old okay. woman, okay. 35, you got to think about at least Listen. 50, 60 dudes. Damn! Damn. See, yo, <laughs> he's being realistic. This is what... It's finally... I'm glad we have a I'm guest on here. Got shit. I got a good... You don't get that part. Right, right. Gil, 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 Gil don't get that part. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, hold on. Go ahead. Tell him about so the room. I know what he's ready to say. Put girl on the Watch what he said. Listen. I know what he's about to ask. I know what Gil ready to say. I know. Listen. Listen. He's talking like, all of this shit. <laughs> and he had his woman since she was fucking young. They've been together since they was kids. She probably might have one other fucking dick other than his. Now, I don't know how many guys. <laughs> you I don't even ask it. that type but of shit. But you know she didn't have a lot of them. I mean, if she did, I don't care because I love her now. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Oh, this yeah. nigga over right here. Stand yeah, up. Look at this. He, he, he winning yeah. all the points right now across he's America. Dude, he's not. He's he's fucking he's he's judging, right now. City boys up right now. City boys is down 7,000 nah, points because of Danny Garcia and, and, and fucking Wilder. If you judge a girl by her past, you ain't never going to love her because you're going to think about all the dudes she fucked. I, that's why. I, <laughs> that's he want to put he wanna put a chick in a room and put how many bodies you had and put a dildo on the table for each one. Yeah, because he represents them by dildos. He always says if you look at at 19 dildos, dildos how crazy that look. No, well, he listen, said short well, dicks listen. tall dicks long yeah, dicks yeah. fat dicks that's all you talking about cause what I'm saying is if a chick had 35 dicks it, it, it don't sound like a lot but if you go to condemnation and you lay 35 See? dicks out on the table long dicks short dicks skinny dicks fat dicks tall dicks small dicks and you looking at all them dicks you like <laughs> but what if they looking at 200 asses like hold 200 on, pussies hold on and you like you took all those different dicks. <laughs> you can't ever like, be too technical. You said that's those, ridiculous. All those different. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Crazy. <laughs> oh shit! All of those slammers. Like you like, gotta understand, bro. Okay, hold on. You if gotta you, understand. If a nigga got thirty-five guns in his house, <laughs> is that a lot of weapons? <laughs> that's different. <laughs> like, is that you? Like, damn, dog, what you need all these guns? This for? boy's an animal. Like, fuck you doing? So if a chick got 36 dicks in her closet. Yeah, but see, that's different because you got 35 guns at once. If you had 35 guns throughout your life, that's different. All right, well, we just look at life alone. <laughs> <laughs> like, Danny talking all that shit. Now he, I'm keeping it 100. No, your woman has only been with you. What are you talking but about? I, I don't really. I he don't, don't know. judge. It's He's easy. not a judger. The, it's the, easy to say. At the end of the day, look, it's easy to say. I don't care. He's not a judge. I wouldn't care if my woman. I wouldn't mean. care if my woman had thirty-five dicks. When your woman didn't have thirty-five, bro, it's 30, easy bro, to say I'm, that. I'm like, thirty-one. Any girl, if I break up with my girl and get with another girl, I'm not getting with a girl who had five sex partners. How you know? Because I know. But okay, okay, hold this on. It's a dog, doggy okay. dog world. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Shit. So if a woman is 30, yeah. right? Any woman that's 30 years old that's worth something, that's not a whore, hold on. <laughs> Where was the It's two a year Oh she had two this year 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 Where was the Three years that she was in a relationship The five okay. years she was so in a relationship So girls don't cheat uh, Hold on Hold on uh, She probably was in a relationship For five years Okay But, but you got You got Oh I like your smile I'm in the club You got Oh I take a business trip That's a whore mm. I mean listen mm. I don't Listen to me. Look, if you got a woman, you're extremely judgmental. Uh, if, no, I'm a real. If you got a woman, you're extremely and she's judgmental. She's mopping niggas on the side. Mm -hmm. We don't agree. She's uh, got a little smutty butty in her. Yeah. Yo, kill. Let me ask you something. If a woman messed up and cheated one time, she's a whore. In my eyes, two's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> One time. One time. <laughs> One time. Two Keith, Keith, Keith Thurman. Two to cheat you a whore. He going to call her Keith Thurman, I'm nigga. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. Like, I'm out. I can't, I can't believe you're doing this to the family. Look, I'm out. You messed up family. Ass ain't, okay, because Bro, listen. Your ass ain't going nowhere. I nigga, like that, Danny. Hold on, first of all. First oh, of all. Like, Take in that ass upstairs. Shut first up. First of all, first of all, we talked about this on my live. With two on my live. You got kids right there together. two with me. Yeah, two said family. no. Two said no. I, I I truly honestly believe he'd be out because let me tell you something. 
I'm never attached to nothing that I can't leave in 30 seconds when the heat is around the corner. Oh, now now you Robert De Niro. Huh? I'm just saying. <laughs> now you Robert De Niro. <laughs> now he's a heat. Now he's a heat. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gone. Look, tired of her. Look. <laughs> So I've lived. <laughs> Tootsie's look. And, and, and Danny going wild out Don't too. No, yeah, yo, Danny going stop wild it. out hey, if that on. happens. Okay, so hold on. Look, so that. Danny, so Danny, you mean to tell me you can find out that Erica's out here getting blazed down by another man and you're like, let's just work through my it. Baby lady. Fuck no. You no, like no. he calling everybody he know. We going to Miami. Let's go, come on. He's gonna be right in Miami. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it real. Yeah. You- Man, I got to avoid child support. <laughs> <laughs> so he works something out first. Let's work something out first. We're together, but my head really not. <laughs> <laughs> A child support will be something else. Hey, hey, I forgot. I forgot when you hit a different tax bracket, you think, that, damn, I want to leave this. My riches, look. 30000 a month. <laughs> Nigga be like this when you're in a different tax bracket. I want to leave. But, uh, 26 five a month. A month? Ah, I'm staying. <laughs> Bro, shit. I, I had a couple. This shit all about money at the end I, of the I day. I done had a couple motherfuckers work that shit out because of the. <laughs> I hate this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, they, but, but they look down at their fucking what they go have to pay a month. They like, but I don't need to miss that much. That's crazy, man. Yeah, that's a lot of bread. And then a another nigga bread. that they get with gonna be living in the crib yeah, off your bread. Yeah, like, that's, drive, cra- that's driving, crazy. He could be driving a car you in the house shit, blazing. Yeah. See, that's what's oh fucked up. Like, when, you when you got Danny, when you got Danny type Garcia type money, uh, you break like, up with the woman. He could be the one telling him to put it on child support. Put, put that motherfucker on child support. I need my new fucking Rolex. I need the trip to the yank. Hey, hey, and then what's so fucked up? Trying to ride his mother, getting a new Lambo. What's so fucked up when 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 motherfuckers is in your tax bracket and they fuck up? This how it go. The judge be like, okay, <laughs> Erica, you get the house in Miami. Mm. Danny, you get this house. How many cars you guys got? Oh, we got four. Okay, you get two cars. You get two cars. He's like, shit. Think of Sydney like <laughs> Lambo and a Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga be like, she ain't throw no punches. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't gonna be shooting in the gym. <laughs> Dang. Life, that's, su- that's yo, life sucks piece. sometimes, then, man. Then it be like, how much you got in the bank? You life sucks. Danny, the, the hey, day. listen, Danny, <laughs> Danny, the the ran and, he done ran and tucked some shit in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> I done put that shit in the LLC under my pop name. He <laughs> made me the trustee and shit. Yep. I got this shit figured out. Right. So it's crazy, <laughs> man. And then it's like, life sucks. And then sometimes, it's like, man. you give all this shit up, and then they go get it with a raggedy nigga. Like, Back block Bobby. This nigga all C smoking weed, all in Danny shit. All on, he on Instagram turning up. He got a rap crew now. Nah. They rap Nigga was just fucked up last week. He like nah. this. Damn, dog. Jody. That's when you gotta, that's when you gotta activate psycho mode, man. Jody. Jody's undefeated. No, Jody's no, a bad no, motherfucker. Baby, you got to. Baby, like, you heard it. Like, you got to. What, you, what would you do, I'm Dan? saying if I got Danny Bread and next thing you know I'm what paying 30000 And a bull rider, what you gonna do? I'm gonna just have the troops on. They, they gonna be sitting there occupying the neighborhood. Nah, nigga, you can't come on this block and fuck with her, nigga. I'm on payroll. I work out this motherfucker. You not spending <laughs> none of this bread, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. Nah, He's fuck psycho, man. that. Hold on. Wait, Danny. Life this sucks. man said... <laughs> If he buy his woman some titties. Oh, we back to this again. Because you got to hear this shit. If he buy his woman some titties. It's crazy. When they break up, can't nobody else suck them titties. Yeah. In a used titties. I already got what I'm going to do. I'm going to poke a needle right through that. (laughs) Yo, see that? He's He's on the same time. You know he on pop and pop. My my titties, I pay for them. Get your own. Your own. Your own. Your own. Big Pun said that shit, man. I heard that back in the day. All that way. Yeah. Big Pun said it too. That's crazy. But that's a lot of money, man. 30,000. Gil, what you going to do? A nigga riding around in your truck? Come on, my nigga. That's a hard pill to swallow, dog. You going to do the same shit? At the end of the day, no, I ain't doing none of that. At the end of the day, if 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 that's what it came down to, I'm out. But I'm stunting on the bitch. Just know that. I'm pulling to pick my kids up. I'm gonna have five groupie bitches in there. They're gonna be hanging out the (laughs) sunroof. I'm hoping it ain't 30k. Not, I ain't playing. I'm hoping it's more like 10k a month. No, even though that's still a lot. Look, look, look. That's when you know a nigga to... got money. Like, I'm hoping I only got to give up 10k. <laughs> 10k. Like, that's crazy. What? That's 120 what? a year. 120? After you get the house, after you get the house, that's the car. What? Oh fuck that. And you got to stab. You got to get them established. He's like, oh man. Oh look. 10 is a hurt ball. That's 120. Yeah, yeah that's 120. Fuck In that. In 10 years, it's 1.2 million. Mm-hmm. 
And that's not counting the stuff you already going to do from the heart. But you got to get a situation. So I'm going to try at least stay with my girl till my daughter's 10. I could do eight years. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. He's trying to figure out how much time. This is a plea bargain. This nigga sitting here like, I could do eight, nigga. <laughs> I could do eight. That nigga, like, that nigga like 10 times 12 <laughs> times eight. I put that on one. Oh, that ain't that bad. That's only 462,000. Yeah. I could do that. <laughs> Crazy. Put that in that little count real quick. Look, it's good. Look. Look. Unless you, you go to college. College, four more years, you fucked. He talking all that shit, gonna get home. Babe, that was just entertainment. <laughs> yep. Crazy. We don't know who you be. <laughs> Listen, let's get into, right now, I want to get into stories from the cell. We wake up for count one morning, right? So I'm on the top tier. You got the bottom tier. So as we wake up from the count, I'm standing, you know, because you got the guard that come up the top tier, then you got the guard that come down the bottom tier. So I'm looking at, as I'm leaning on the door, I see the guard come back. He walking past one cell. Then they walk past the cell. They hit the door and start screaming for backup. So all the guards are coming. Ah, oh my God. Old head. He must have been in jail for like 20 something years. He decided it was over. It was time for him to make parole his own way. He hung himself from the vent. Damn. The vent, like, is on top of the, like, on the sink. You got a sink right here. Then you had, like, a little vent with, like, holes, like, a vent right here. And it got big holes in it, like that. So he tied himself and basically, he got out of there because he couldn't take it no more. He just was like, I'm done. And it was like, during my time in jail, you know, you, you, you don't often see suicide, but you, you hear about a lot of people commit suicide, attempted suicide. You hear about people killing themselves. You like, who had the heart to do that? To tie themselves up and string themselves up. And like that moment when I was in there, because I had moments in jail when I used to be in jail, and that shit really impact. You'd be like, yo, this shit real. And you get and you be able to start to understand more of the different side effects that jail had. He was on medication too. He was already on like psychotropic meds because he used to always be like dazed out. But he had a bunch of time and he was like, I'm trying to get out of here. A lot of times when you're in the streets, you out here, you're doing your thing, you're just tough. It's lonely. It's a lonely place in prison. It's a lonely motherfucker. People is going to pull out on you. A lot of people that you might be with, they, they, they're going to get up out of there. Mm -hmm. The girl, she's going to be out. She's going to be messing with somebody else. She's going to move on because life don't stop. And if you're a part of the street game, you got to understand this. You got to be built to go ahead and, and, and make sure you can deal with years by yourself or you can deal with the graveyard. A lot of people don't talk about that. But like I tell you, Jail is a place where it's though, it's just every day. Every day it's just trauma going to your brain because you're trying to understand how am I living in this little ass closet with another man? Every time he shit, I got to smell it. You got, I'm talking about everything. Your our whole life is just inside of a cell. See, a lot of people never know. This is one boy, right? <laughs> this is what people don't understand. You got dudes in jail that sell sandwiches out of their toilet. Let me explain something to you. Dudes like cold cut sandwiches, cold sandwiches. They might make them in the what's name. And I didn't see dudes, and it fucked me up when I seen the old here. You go to the cell, he got the towel over his toilet with a plastic bag inside of the toilet because the water is cold. That's like the coldest water, the toilet water. Mm -hmm. But it's a plastic bag in the toilet, but he got the sandwiches in there. And when I went there, my old here, I'm going to go grab a sandwich. I walked to the joint. I'm like, he, oh, he got sandwiches in his toilet. No, he got, it's laced with the bag. You know, that's the coldest part of the cell. And you just understanding the mindset that the people go through and the shit that, that they be on and just like, you just be trying to figure this Put stuff out. Put the sandwiches out. where you shit at. Yeah, where you shit at. But he tell me, no, the toilet clean that. But, but my, I'm like, oh, yeah. he went back to the cell, I'm standing at his door, he cracked the, you know, take it out of the plastic. I mean, even though he tried, no, youngin, listen, man, he got bags inside his toilet, it's cool, but it's the mind that, that's where you take shits at. You flush the refrigerator, Listen, basically. That's, that's, that's crazy, that's my nigga. So he got his jaw laced up, you know, because all the time, all prisons, some prisons got the ice machine on the block where you take the ice and put it in the foot tub, and that's where you put your little juices, whatever. But all of them ain't having this joint then. So when we go back, he goes to the joint, I'm standing in the cell door, he cracked, take it out of the plastic, little delicatessen sandwich, you know what I mean? He, he cracked it open, pulled his chips out, eating, yeah, because young blood, listen, man, I ain't remember down. So I'm like, you just ate a shit sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Like you just really like ate, it was nothing. Like it was Damn. nothing. And it was like this dude was a big time sandwich seller. So it was like, yo, like so it's like it's like Dylan seeing a different stuff. You seeing people commit suicide. Big time. You, no, you, sandwich you, seller. You see, he was a same, big time. You seeing people commit suicide the and the next day you know you seeing people eat out of eat shit sandwiches out of a toilet. It's real deep in jail, man. And the mindset that you got to, because you got to program, when you go into jail, you got to deprogram yourself in order to reprogram yourself. Because everybody, anything you knew before jail, that shit don't even mean that. You got to figure out how you got to travel through this terrain, which is the penitentiary, in order to make it to the other side. And hopefully you can make it sane. Like I always tell people, I had to go insane in order to stay sane. Because I had to believe that all this crazy shit that was going on in jail, that it was real. That's so crazy. it's real fuck. So when you out there and you operate, read the fine print. 
If you out there, I understand. If you want to be a tough nigga, you want to be tough, you want to be busting your gun, you mm -hmm. want to be a rider, do your thing. You ain't got to listen to me. I'm just a, I'm just an old dude that did 20 years in jail that, that just trying to give you some advice. You don't have to listen to me. You don't. But they got space in jail and they got space in uh, the graveyard. So right. do what yeah. you got to do. And one thing to say, Wallow learned out fast. You know what I mean? He found out fast. As soon as he got there, the gay ball came right out of his Yo, come on, man. You keep talking about this. Come on, man. <laughs> trying to he put did. smut on my name. Yeah, but you call home talk, but your kids no, was, was on the lizard. No, that wasn't me. It took some time <laughs> He called home talking in codes. My kids aches on the lizard. I went, I was confused. I'm like, what? what I'm, not I'm proud of myself. I've never been... That's that. Now, that's that's real. Gym. That's that's a that's real shit yeah. right there. Yo, I, I tell people this time. I tell people this all the time. It's harder to be in the hood and sell drugs than not do it. You know how hard it is to be around something every day and never right. do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's that that's twenty times harder. You know why? Because but it's, everybody it's, you do. gotta have a vision though. Because like, nine gotta, times out of ten, people young. are influenced by what they're around. Yeah, they got. I mean, yeah. So for you to be different, like. Mm, that's me. I'm not taking I mean, you gotta route. have a vision. You feel me? If you right. don't have a vision, you don't see nothing but this, then you're gonna fall into it. Like, Shout out to your dad. Yeah, for sure. Your dad helped you keep yeah. the vision. Mm -hmm. Angel's legendary. You know what I mean? Yeah, your dad sure. helped you keep the vision. He, he, that, since you was born, that motherfucker said, you're gonna do one thing in life box. Box, box. And he made it happen for but you. He taught, me, he taught me more than just boxing, though. Yeah. He taught me, like, you know, like about friends, about right. drugs, like, you see? about women. You feel see, me? The, it's, it's crazy because the majority of the shit. Said friends come that, and go like the wind. Right. That your dad taught you about was didn't have shit to do with school. It was just about life. Exactly. Life is real. You know what I'm saying? Fake friends, and, real friends, drugs, how to walk away. And the one thing that's. Discipline. That, that I commend your dad, the, the most important thing that he taught you was hard work. Mm -hmm. He said nobody nobody ever gonna give you nothing. You gotta earn it. That that's the most important Ain't thing. Ain't nobody he gonna give you, you shit. And mm -hmm. and you look up you 31 years old to to this day and you still putting in the hard work. Real shit. I think you never you think you only drank one time in your life, right? On your I, birthday, right? Hey, I sipped some champagne yeah, before that yeah, shit though. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I, I never I never I never smoked weed never, or none, uh, of none of that. Me neither. Right. But so, I was I was, that, mad that, that I, was alone, mad, I was mad at myself for doing that too. That alone takes a little I'm like, discipline. damn, I ain't gonna better take a body shot. <laughs> 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 Nigga took a, took a little sip of champagne on his 21st birthday and felt bad. Oh, <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> fuck that, I'm running home for the club. Yeah, I can't do it. My dad gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that in itself takes discipline, man. Yeah. Because I was riding down uh, Kensington Ave the other day, man. And the sight of all of those hundreds of of dope fiends Shit's that's crazy. just out there mm -hmm. and the sad shit is is like you just look at the houses and you like imagine being a kid living in that fucking house right there and every day you walk out that fucking house you see these fucking zombies just like the worst thing kid as a growing up as a kid is having a parent on drugs yeah one day you wake up your vcr is in a pawn shop your TV, go, everything start going. Right. Yeah. You like. And you trying to still go to school. Yeah. You ain't you got like, clothes. What the you ain't fuck? got nothing. Like, what the fuck is Food? going on? That's like, every day crazy. something else is missing. You feel right. me? Absolutely. So it's like. And then, uh, and then if your mom is on drugs, yeah. next thing you know, here come she a gone. bunch of nigga, niggas in and out she the gone. house. She bunch gone. of men constantly. It's just. She gone. Uh, Pops go to jail. Mom gone. Right. Mm -hmm. It was sad, man. You, I was riding through Kensington, man. That shit was sad, man. That was like. Some really, really sad, disappointing shit. Like real shit, but you gotta understand, they wake up seeing that every day, so that's like right. normal to them. It's normal, like, and, like we go down there, it's like oh, yeah. right. And it's crazy but, because it's like, it's like when I was in the game and I was in the hood and I was living amongst it, it was like that shit was so normal. And it's like once you finally see the world mm -hmm. and you get green. out and you see shit and you you start to realize that life is bigger than this one small ass neighborhood that mm -hmm. you grew up in then when you revisit that shit you like damn i grew up in this shit like that's when you realize how the like fuck did i make it out of this shit like it's great mm -hmm. you beat the odds like, how did God pick me to be the one to make it out of this shit right here? Like, that's why if one, if one out of every hood make it, that's, like, great. It's unbelievable, yeah. man. One out of every hood make it, that's great. It's unbelievable, man. Let's get into the million dollars worth of game segment. So they said I need some game, OG. I got this good friend of mine, solid dude, been married for about five years. Found out his wife was stepping out on him. He confronted her. He said, cut it out. 
The following week, <laughs> she was back talking to the same person. Cut it. <laughs> and to make it worse, he found videos of his wife getting it on in the car in a parking lot of a local club. At this point, OG, it's been more than four occasions she's been involved in. Caught with the same dude. My boy just keep going, t- just keep taking her back like nothing ever happened. At this point, I just look at him like he's on some clown shit, OG, and I look at him as being less than a man, and I don't want to fuck with him no more. What do you think? Damn, well, man. I think a lot of guys out I here. I think he ain't got nothing going on in his life. Right? Every time I hear something like that, yeah. it's like it ain't even about the woman. It's like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, what you doing? Like, do you have money? That's like, right, daddy. Where are you working? <laughs> Take the whole million dollars worth of game. <laughs> yeah, Give it to him. <laughs> It's like, damn, bro, like, what? How could you, like, damn. No, it's no, like, any man who got something going on for himself ain't going to settle for no bullshit. But no. at the end of the day, the world is populated with nans, nut-ass niggas. <laughs> this, You're one. This is, let's just keep it real. It's more, it's more nut-ass niggas by far than it is niggas that just got common sense. Like, that's why my DM got 30,000 DMs in there. Because the shit I say is just common sense. And I just put it in a way to make you think from a different perspective. This man, woman, got slapped in the face with a dick and he told to cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> he said like he old here too. Cut it out. Like, they, like, like she was just making noise upstairs. Like kids <laughs> just making noise. Like, y'all stop that. <laughs> right. Then at the end of the day. He lets you know what type of guy he is because this shit happens multiple times and he's still just going to take it. And the bottom line, I truly feel like women only do shit like this to niggas. They know they could get away with it. Somebody who can't do nothing about it. Right. If you ain't got, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got your own house. You ain't got your own car. Right. You ain't getting your own money. She going to do what but you want because you, you ain't going over it. But yeah. a lot of times, it's a lot of niggas out here. The ball's in her court. But it's a lot of niggas out here who got it. It's a lot of nut ass niggas with money. And just because you get money, that don't if you was a nut ass nigga before you got the money, you was a nut ass nigga with money. The money can't unlame you. But, but money don't unlame you. It's niggas out here who do everything. The bitch got all the Chanel bags, Fine, all the red bottoms, <laughs> all the new whips, the house paid for, and she's still running around sucking a nigga's dick who ain't got nothing. Down the way. She's sneaking down the way. She's sneaking down the way sucking boo boo dick. Jody's That's undefeated. what boo Because at the Jody end of the day, her. because Jody. at the end of the day, boo boo got that uh that that she really like. That turns on. That turn on. You just got the money. When she really wants you to choke her while you fucking her and talk dirty to her, shut up, bitch. Get this dick. You just want to lay down missionary style face to face and kiss. <laughs> <laughs> lock the bitch in like she on a roller coaster. You lock the bitch in, put your arms on her shoulder. You just want to grab. No, she want to be treated like a whore. She wants you to put the thumb in her fucking butt. You know, you see when future shit come on in the club, and I'm going to put a thumb in her butt. All the bitches <laughs> in the club sing that part. You hear me? She wants you to really treat her and beat her. <laughs> treat her and beat her. Right. She wants you to stroke her and poke her. Stroke, yeah, yeah, that's the song right, right there. Right. Treat her and beat her. Stroke, stroke her and poke her. Treat her and beat her. Stroke her and poke her. Hey. Stroke. Stroke. Wham. Uh, uh, gotcha. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta put your ad libs in it. Uh, we gotta get Danny a verse on yeah, that. You gotta get him. We gotta get him. He gonna spit on it. Mama said, "Knock the pussy out." <laughs> Gina, I'm up. going knock the pussy Gina. out. <laughs> Re- redo her LL joint. Yeah. Mama said, "Knock the pussy out." Wham! Knock it out the box. What's the ad lib? Skirt, 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 skirt. That's, hey. the, that's the that's the all the youngins main ad lib. <laughs> it's only these niggas see skirt skirt a car joint about selling skirt, coke. Skirt. Just move the brick today. <laughs> what the fuck did that have to do with moving a brick? Yeah, I don't know. Car skirt. Shit, if it sound good, it's good, right? right that's all that matters yeah. nowadays. Yeah. So at the end of the day, man, what he doing his life don't affect you. So just because he's a lame ass nigga. He's still your homie. That's your homie. He's just a lame ass nigga who's your homie. Your homie. Like I got a lot of, I hang with some niggas. That's my main homies. That's they some corny motherfuckers, but they some good dudes. Mm-hmm. Wallow's a corny motherfucker. <laughs> he just a good nigga. Use a name. <laughs> like, use a name. Like, hold on. Right now he got Dita sweatpants on with Vans. He's a corny nigga. <laughs> I will put him up there, but they're not paying me right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
but he's a good <laughs> fucking dude. We can all agree on that. So at the end of the day, man, you should never leave your homies because of the situations yeah. that he's going through with a female. That's on him. You got to leave that alone because at the end of the day, like one thing I learned, like say if you see your home, if you if I see my homie girl in a club with another dude, I'm not going to tell my homie. No, it's going to fuck your relationship exactly. up. Exactly. He's going to be mad at you. Danny you know, Hayden. Yeah, exactly. But listen, man, y'all was tuned into. Me, 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 who the fuck is this nigga? I don't, I don't know this nigga. One thing I can say about Danny, man, I sit on the phone with him for hours on top of hours. We talk about boxing. We talk about the up and coming niggas. Talk about I never life. heard him hate on nobody. Never heard him hate on none of the boxers ever. If a nigga's doing his thing, he's doing his thing. If a nigga's not that good, he's like he's cool, but I don't know. maybe he might got a shot. But <laughs> did I ever come up in any account like that? My fight never come. Yeah, up. Yeah, he said you was a fucking bum. I'm just keep it all we real. He said he ice you and shit, but okay. that's a whole that's some whole other uh, shit. We we'll talk about that next time. Yeah, but so I I definitely got to give a shout out to Danny for just being the same dude, man. Because a lot of these dudes, man, you meet them when they're young, they get some money. And they, they change up fast. Right. I'm like, I'll be wondering, like, how much money he getting? Right. <laughs> I'm like, bro, how much money you getting? I know but, it ain't more than me. Because you different. It's like, damn, they get a couple dollars, start acting crazy. Niggas start acting crazy, It's like, man. bro, you ain't Michael Jackson? <laughs> like, right. shit. Right. And then for the boxing shit, it's like, for you to talk the money shit, it, it's like Floyd already did that. Hey, so it's like. Already been done. You know what I mean? It's like, and ain't nobody getting the money he got. So it's like, mm, what do we talk about here? So I just wanted to give a shout out to Danny on that, man. And I appreciate you coming through, man. Appreciate this is you, million man. dollars worth of game. Me, 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 me. It's just like that. And I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. Right. Yeah.